In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a Google Play developer account and verify it. Google recently updated the process in November 2023 and added some additional steps. So make sure you watch the video till the end to avoid any mistakes. To get started, head over to your web browser and search for Play Console Developer Account. Then click on this link to go to the Google Play Console website. If you're already signed in with your Gmail account, you will be brought to a page like this one. If not, you will be redirected to this page. Here, you can use a Gmail account to sign in. If you do not have one, just click Use Another Account and follow the steps to create a new account in just a few minutes. Now, when you get to this page, you will need to select an account type to get started. Are you creating the account for an organization or for yourself? If it is for an organization, you will need to select the type of organization. Keep in mind that the account you're currently signing with will own the developer account. You won't be able to change it later. So if it is not the right one, you can still switch accounts. If you're not sure what type of account to choose, take off it this way. A personal account is ideal for individual developers or small teams who are just starting out. On the other end, an organization account is better suited for companies or larger teams. If you're still unsure, you can always choose the personal account for now and you can upgrade to an organization account later if needed. Now, based on your selection, you will see a list of requirements to create the developer account. Since we chose a personal account, we will need an email for your application users, a contact phone number, an email address for Google, a way to pay the $25 registration fee, and last but not least, we will need to verify our identity to be able to publish apps. Let's click continue. Now, it's time to choose your developer name. It doesn't have to be your real name. It's just a name that will appear under the app name on the Play Store. It can be your company name, for example. Next, to help verify your identity, you need to link an existing payment profile or create a new one. If you choose to create a new one, Make sure you provide your legal name and address because Google will use this information to verify your identity later. Fill in your details accurately because this name can be changed later. Now that we've successfully created our payment profile, let's click next to fill in the information about our public developer profile. Keep in mind that all the information you provide here will be publicly visible on Google Play. Enter an email that users can use to contact you. It can differ from the email on the account, but in my case, it will be the same. Then click this button to verify the email address. If it is not a Gmail account, or if you just created it, they may send a code to this email to verify it. Let's click next to continue to the About You section. On this page, you will provide some information about your previous experience with Play Console and Android. This will vary from one person to another. For the sake of this demo, I will just copy and paste this text here. Do you have other Google accounts that you use to access the Play Store? Make sure you read this explanation here to see if this applies to you. For the purpose of this demo, I will say no. If you have a website, you can provide the link here. Otherwise, select I don't have a website and click Next. On this page, you will need to provide some general information on how you plan to use your developer account and how many apps you plan to publish in the next 12 months. As it is written here, this won't affect the type or number of apps you'll be allowed to publish in the future. So select whatever makes sense for your situation, then click Next. The information you provide on this page will only be used by Google to contact you. It will not be shown on your Google Play. Enter a contact name, a contact email address, your preferred language, and a contact phone number. To avoid any issues with the phone number, make sure you include the plus symbol followed by the country code, the area code, and then your phone number. Verify it by entering the code that was sent to you. Once verified, click Next to move to the Terms and Conditions page. Take a moment to carefully read through the Google Play Developer Distribution Agreement and the Google Play Console Terms of Service. Once you've reviewed the agreements and feel comfortable with the terms, go ahead and check the boxes to accept them. Then click Create Account and Pay. As mentioned earlier, 
there is a one-time registration fee of $25 associated with creating a Play Console account. You can pay this fee using a valid credit or debit card from this list. Note that prepaid cards are not accepted. Enter all the information about your card, click Save Card, then complete your purchase by clicking the Buy button. If everything went well, you should be redirected to this page saying that your developer account has been created. Now, we can click this button to go to the Play Console. Even though the account has been created, there are two final steps that you have to complete before you can start publishing your apps. You need to verify your identity and also verify that you have access to an Android mobile device. Let's start with the identity verification by clicking this button here. As you can see, we will need to provide two types of documents. The first one is to verify our identity. It can be a driver's license, passport, national ID card, or resident permit. The second one is a document showing our name and current address. It can be anything that shows your name with your address from the last 60 days. In my case, since my driver's license also includes my address, I will use it for both. Click here to agree to the terms, then start verification. Here, make sure that the name you're entering matches the name on your identity document, then select the ID type, driver's license in my case. Depending on the ID type, you might need to upload both front and back. If it says it cannot read the ID even if it's readable, just re-upload it again. Now both the front and back of the ID have been uploaded successfully, let's click Next. Again, make sure the address you're entering matches the one in the document you will upload for proof of address. Once you're done uploading everything, click Submit. When you see this box, it means you have successfully submitted your proof of ID and address. Google will verify them and get back to you in a few days. Later, I will show you the email I received, which confirms the successful completion of the verification process. Now that we are done with the identity verification, let's continue to verify that we have access to an Android device. For that, you will need to download the Google Play Console app by scanning this QR code. If you have already downloaded it, just open it and make sure that you sign in using the Gmail account that you used to create your developer account. Once you signed in, you will see this screen. Click your account to verify device access, then click Verify. Device checks completed. Click Continue. Now, let's go back to the Play Console website. As you can see, we are now just waiting for Google to verify our identity to be ready to publish our first app on Google Play. Two days later, I received this email saying your identity has been verified. For me, it took less than 48 hours. Now, if I click this Go to Play Console button, as you can see, the requirements are gone, and we can now click this Create App button to create our first app. To help you in this process, go watch this video that shows how to publish your first app on the Google Play Store.